My name is uh, David Papillon. It is a, it is, it is very, it's very humbling for me to be up here. And, and it's very terrifying at the same time. It's, it's humbling because as I stand here, I'm just overwhelmed with the grace of God, how he has worked in my life and he has formed me. It's also frightening because I know how meaningful um, these seminary uh, senior testimonies have been in my life. They always seem to come at the right time when my mind is tired, when my body is tired, when my clothes are tired, just to, to continue to encourage me um, in how God is forming me. As, as I look back on my time in seminary, I, I see God forming me in, in several ways. First off, he, he really did form me through the hard work um, at seminary, through the tough classes, through the hard assignments. I, I came here because I was, I was fearful to handle God's word. I, was, I knew I was cloudy. I wasn't clear. I wasn't bold. I wasn't confident. I needed more training. And he did that through the hard classes. And I am thankful for that. I'm thankful for the environment even here that I was, uh, was developed in. I didn't realize that I was coming to a church and coming to a church ministry. I, wasn't, I didn't realize that, that a church would take ownership of me. Another way God has formed me is through ministry at uh, Grace Community Church, serving in the youth department. I... In many ways, I came to a seminary, and I feel like I'm being sent out by a church. I, I've also been formed through the ways God has personally touched my life. Uh, it is, it's not lost on me that probably the, the semester that was the hardest for me last semester, the, the one that had the heaviest load with preaching lab, God chose to touch me there in the deepest way. Through, um, through the death of my, my older brother, who was both my, both my brother here on earth and my, my brother in Christ. And he, I think he, he used that time to really shape in me um, the realities, the seriousness of eternal life, the, the treasure of the gospel, that, 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 that we preach a gospel that people need to hear. Because if... If they don't have this gospel message, death is a horrible thing. But if they do know Christ, it is a, it is, it's a wonderful thing. And lastly, I think he shaped me just through, through showing me the treasure that was my wife. I, I came here arrogant. I came here proud. I don't think I came here treasuring you enough, Serena. Um, but through God's faithfulness and his kindness and his goodness and his mercy to me, you are, you are my treasure, and I'm thankful for that. As I continue to move forward, I am, I am eager to do ministry in the local church. I, I'm hoping to find a, a, an associate pastor role somewhere where I can learn and grow under a good and godly man, as I've seen its benefits. My eventual Desire, of course, would be to return to the Midwest, Minnesota, but we'll see uh, what God's plans are. Thank you.